Hi, uh, my name is Michael Giacquino and I'm the Exhibitions Curator here at the Cape Cod Museum of Art. And we've just completed a, uh, an exhibition of the uh, Cape Cod Potters. Uh, in this exhibition there are 40 potters uh, uh, living and working on Cape Cod and this is a collection of their work. There's about 300 pieces of work and one of the strengths of this uh, exhibition is the fact that it is a collection. Um, Michael and I, Michael Jean Quinto, who is the curator of the museum, and myself, Gail Turner, started talking about this three years ago. And slowly it came into focus more and more. Um, part of the criterion was that the potters had to be members of Cape Cod Potters. Uh, since that organization is not juried, we needed to find a juror. And we picked Dan Finnegan, who's from Virginia, because he had done a workshop for us years ago. And we really liked his pottery and liked his integrity. The exhibition is to show the diversity of the work that's done by the potters on the Cape. Um, it runs from wood firing to raku to low fire stoneware to electric to gas fired. Uh, we even have one potter who does oil drip. I have three pieces here that are in this show. This is burnished work. It's redware clay. I say burnished, it's been polished. The clay itself has been polished and then um, fired in a box with different burnable materials. And it gives it that different character of the smoke and the flames. Um, when it comes out, you, you're never really sure of what's going to happen. You have an idea of how things burn and how they're going to look but you're never really positive. I have three other pieces that are sitting here. Uh, they're also burnished, but it's a white clay. A little different technique of um, getting the uh, carbonization into it. I'm Lois Hirschberg, and I've been a potter for over 30 years. Um, my work is mostly done with slabs, hand-built. Um, I do not use a wheel. As you'll see, when you see some of my work, they're done with mostly leather hard clay so that it's a little dried so it's stiff and I, I put the pieces together like a carpenter would put a cabinet together. So I miter the sides, I cut the sides, miter the sides, score them and glue them together with what's called a slip. Most of my pieces are bowls and platters and plates so when this show was announced, I decided that I was going to go outside of the box and really challenged myself to come up with pieces that I have never done before. I do not feel like I have an artistic eye the way potters do or most artists do. So the craft part I love to do. The art, is, the art part of the arts and crafts is not very easy for me. These pieces are all extruded, which is like a big Play-Doh machine in a way. So the clay comes out in all different, uh, you could have it come out in all different shapes and sizes. So I've done this and then I used obviously all different colored glazes on it in order to get the different effect. I call that my C-tubes.